Hey guys, it's Shannon here again. Uh, many of you watched my MacBook Pro and Beats by Dre unboxing and requested that I post more videos. So I just ordered the um, GoPro Hero 8 and I'm excited to share it with y'all. Actually, so what happened with my Hero 5 Black, my beloved Hero 5 Black, I went to charge it with my MacBook charger because it's the same cord and I couldn't find my GoPro charger. For all y'all out there, please do not do that. It internally fried my GoPro Hero 5 Black. I came back upstairs to my room where it was plugged in a few hours later, and I literally touched it and had to drop it because it was so hot, and it never turned back on. Um, it's, it's not the battery. It's the actual GoPro. So I decided to order a new one. GoPro gave me a 25% off coupon. Um, just a hint, just a little tip for y'all. Um, I went to... Look at the website, and I thought that I'd have to send in my old GoPro to get $100 off, but if you just contact customer service, um, if they can't really help you, they'll send you a coupon instead. So I don't have to send in my um, old GoPro in case it like magically comes back to life or something. That would be nice. <laughs> um, okay, so I decided to order this. Um, it took me like four days to get it, and it was two-day shipping, so I was kind of disappointed. I actually purchased it because I'm going on a trip to the Bahamas this week. I'm super excited, and I was like, well, honestly, it would be so worth it because um, it knocked the price down from $3.99 to $2.99. I was watching other YouTube videos. Shout out to all you guys who made those, um, and it kind of convinced me to upgrade. There's huge differences. Let's see. I um, put some specs over here so I could read them to you. I'm not super technical, but I wanted to give those to you. Um, you, if you read, if you watched my other video, you can realize that I'm not super technical. So maybe this is a video for you if you don't really understand that. So this baby has a 12 megapic, megapac, megapixel sensor. Megapixel, blah. <laughs> Um, you can re record 4K footage at 60, 50, 30, 25, and 24 frames per second. Um, this, if you love doing slow motion videos, this is the camera for you as it does stellar shots at that. Like, uh, it says 2.7K at 120 and 100 frames per second. Um, this camera also features hyper smooth. Now, if you're like me and you have the older versions of GoPros, they claim to be smooth, but you had to buy the Karma Grip, which I did purchase, um, so I still have that, and it's still working great. Um, so if you do have one of the older versions and you decide not to upgrade, um, I would get the Karma Grip because, honestly, it makes it super smooth. But this new camera does um, give us that, that hyper smooth without, without the Karma needed. So here, this is what the packaging looks like. Um, in front of you are curious this is how big the box is um okay oh i'm so excited <sighs> okay also time warp 2.0 that sounds great live burst oh live burst is really cool it's kind of like um uh, for video version of like so you know how iphones do like the the live burst type thing where like it'll like capture a second before and after you take the photo so you can kind of get like a like a feel for what your, what the moment was like more than just a picture. Um, so the GoPro has the live burst, so it goes, once you click the shutter, um, it'll start filming 1.5 seconds before and 1.5 seconds after a photo is taken. Um, so if you want to get a still shot out of a video, that works great because you can pick different, multiple level of still shots in case like you're recording a volleyball match or something per se and um you're like oh shoot I missed it like by a second like it's still there so great night lapse night time lapse is great on this baby um it is waterproof like the other cameras um until 10 meters down and 33 feet deep in the water uh, beyond that you can get casing so if you're looking to scuba dive you're good this is rated one of the best scuba diving cameras I read lots of things. <laughs> also, you can live stream on Facebook. This is super, this is such a cool feature. You can live stream. Like, how sweet if you're, like, snorkeling with, like, a sea turtle or something. You can just start live streaming. Also, GoPro has a, um, a premium account where you can store all of your photos, unlimited storage. 
that would also be a great upgrade. It's only like five dollars or six dollars a month, so that is a that's a great plan for this. Um, also, you can pay a little extra prote to protect um, your GoPro, and if anything breaks, then they will help pay for or send you a new one. Um, I side note, GoPro does have good customer service. I've heard many uh, things before. I did something really stupid with my GoPro and I brought it in the water with a Karma Grip because I never read anything that it wasn't waterproof. Don't do that! And it broke my GoPro and I was so sad. I had like just gotten the Hero 5 Black and it broke. I was like distraught and they sent me a brand new one. I was beyond the warranty time and they didn't charge me. I didn't even have the premium account. So they do a customer service. I've heard some pretty crappy things but okay. Also, oh, and live streaming is at 1080p, so that's pretty, really good quality, actually. Um, also, with the Hero 5 Black, they updated the sound, um, the sound quality, so through your microphone, there are actually three microphones on this GoPro, which makes it very nice um, if you are looking to do vlogging with that. Um, and, of course, there's the vo voice commands, like even on my Hero 5 Black, they had that, um, you know, GoPro start recording, GoPro take a photo, GoPro turn on, GoPro shut off. Um, yeah. Okay, give me a minute here. <gasps> it's so pretty. Mm. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so it is nice because it, it comes with this little, um, it comes with the little, um, I don't know what you call it. I'm glad it's the same, um, accessories that you can use for my Hero 5 Black. Alright, so it has this little um, image on there and it's little biking. <clears throat> it does seem like the screen is smaller. Um, I feel like the screen size ratio to the actual like piece of glass is smaller. Um, but it turns out that it's about the same size as the other ones. The, the um, camera itself is just a bit different of a size from the Hero 5 Black in the other versions. Um, so this has like more of a slick look. It's very sleek compared to my Hero 5 Black. Um, and the nice part about this GoPro is you don't have to carry the, um, the casing, the outer casing that usually comes with it. Because, look at this baby, these just kind of slide out a little bit. And then you can go ahead and just attach your... Your accessories, you don't have to have that outer casing on it. Um, that was kind of bothersome, but it, that was nice because you knew that your battery was going to be protected and your SD card and so on. And your charging port. You don't want to get water in the charging port area. Um, let's see if this is going to turn on yet. I hope so because I leave for the Bahamas in two days doesn't turn on it's gonna be a problem so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in thank you for watching this unboxing I hope you learned a lot and I hope that I will make more videos for you if you want me to I worked for Disney for a little bit so maybe you want me to make some vlogs about my Disney college program experience and working at Disney um, I love adventures if you can't tell already all right bye love you guys